Here we have the problem involving percentages. It's quite a complex problem, it's worth four marks. Um, do have a go at this question if you haven't had a go already by pausing the video. Okay, let's have a see how it should be done. So, Emmy buys 50 computers, she pays £160 for each computer. So what we need to do, oh, let's read the rest of the question. She's going to sell some of the computers. She wants to get at least 35% more than she paid for all the computers. So how much she paid is this amount. And she wants to get 35% more than that. She's going to sell each computer for £400. Work out the smallest number of computers Amy needs to sell. So first of all, we need to work out how much she got for, how much she paid for the computers. So paid for computers. So always a good idea to set your working out nice and neatly so it could be followed clearly. So that's how much she paid for the computers. Now we could do that calculation straight away or we could try to be a little bit more sophisticated and think about doing an easier calculation by doubling the 50 and halving the 160 and make an easier calculation that has the same answer. I could do this but five, six, because 516s are 80 and two zeros on the end one, two, because there's two zeros, you get the same answer, £8,000. Now you're going to get one mark, one method mark for getting to the £8,000 straight away. Next thing we need to do is to add 35% onto this £8,000 because that's how much she needs to sell these computers for to, to get the amount of money she wants, at least. So £8,000, 35% uh, of that, we want to, well, let's find 10% of that. Quite often, we start with 10%, and that's going to be 8,000 divided by 10, which is just 800. We just knock off a zero. But we want 35%. So if we get 30, work out 30%, that's going to be the 800 times by 3, which is 8, 3 is 24, with two zeros. And 5% is going to be half of 10%. So that's going to be 400. And if we add those two things together, 2,400 plus 400 is going to be 2,800 pounds. So she paid 8,000 for them, wants to get an extra 2,800. So 8,000 plus 2,800. Well, I don't really do a calculation there, but it's 10,800 pounds. Okay, I think you get another mark for getting to the 2,800 and then one for getting to the 10,800 and then we need to figure out how many lots of 400 make um, 10,800. Now we could do division here I'd prefer to do a multiplication so 400 times by what equals 10,800. Now what I would do here is I would make this an easier calculation by knocking off some zeros because when I do the multiplication, I just do four times this number and put two zeros on the end. So if I knock off the two zeros from the 400 and the 10,800, it makes it easier. So I'm trying to find four times what is 108. Well, I know four times 100. Sorry, no, four. Let's rub that out. Oops. Four times 25, I know, is... 100 and I want to make 108 so 4 times 26 would be 104 so 4 times 27 is going to be our 108 so 400 times 27 would be 10,800 I could do the division I could do 400 into 10,800 again I can knock off the zeros and just do 4's into 108 4's into 1 don't go carry the 1 4s into 10 go twice, carry 2, 4s and 28, 7. So I could do it that way. Either way, the answer is 27 for the fourth mark.